all right guys hello welcome this is anchor point passions and i'm sarah sherman and and today we're going to be talking about bow mechanics and what are some things that you should be looking for when you are getting ready for a competition and you need to check your setup so to do this we're going to go to the langster archery pro shop and since i've been there it has changed a little bit since the pandemic because it has just recently opened back up. All right, so I guess I'll see you guys when I get there. Just made it to Langster Archery, so gonna call in and get some bow mechanics done. All right, so update, I was in the shop and they didn't have the points I was looking for, but it's okay, it's okay, these things happen. All right, everyone, so this is future Sarah. I realized that at Lancaster, I couldn't get the 125 grain points that I wanted. So now I have to make my arrows with the 90 grain points that I have. So what I did yesterday was I built my arrows, set them up, got the 90 grain points in, fletched arrows that I needed to fletch. And now I am going out to practice and tune my arrows, tune my bow and get it all set up for London. So I tune my 30 pin first and make sure that it is dead on and shooting exactly where I want it to go so that I know that that pin is set and then I start to move all of my pins after I have my 30 pin set. So really, I was just aiming for the 10 circle here. So these two arrows being really close to this IBO right here, the center dot is really good. So now I know that my 30 pin is set and I can move on to another pin like my 20 yard pin. So from here, my 20 yard pin is looking pretty good. I'm shooting just a little bit low because the sun is glaring into my eye and I can't exactly see where the 10 or the eight ring is on this target. If I would have to move my pin, I would just loosen up the adjustment on my sight, twist the knob to make it either go up or down depending on if my arrow was high or low and then I would tighten it down and complete that process for the rest of my pins. Now that I have gone through a little bit of arrow tuning and how to tune your arrows after you have fletched them and put points in them, now let's go back to the vlog and present day Sarah. <laughs> I got new strings on my bow, which I have been shooting throughout this week. So they've finally been shot through. When you get new strings, normally you have to shoot them at least you have to shoot at least a hundred shots through the bow so the string can stretch and perform properly and once you've done this then you have to do a little bit of tuning see if your bow's in time or not and then you tie in your peep it's a little piece on the string that you look through and you aim it to your scope so that you can line everything up see down the range and shoot so we tied in the peep and now i am out going to shoot
had to shoot 24 arrows today because today's my recovery day and I went through my schedule and decided to change it from a max of 200 to a max of 100 since I went back to work this week and coming home when I live an hour away. It's just been a really hectic trying to get all the arrows in that I needed to. Like for instance, yesterday I had to get in 160, but I only got in 80. And now I'm going to go home and recover. Okay, so I will end on this last pro tip. I have a coach who once told me that every broken knock that you have, you should save because it's good luck. So I have a jar exactly for that to put all my broken knocks in. So hard to fade away.